my One Minute to Wow video tutorial. This is Mary Fish with Stampin' Pretty. I wanted to show you a quick way to make a perfect little slice of watermelon. And I did it using this stamp from the Stampin' Up! Mouth Watering Stamp Set. It's in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And I've already inked it up using two Stampin' Write markers, the brush end. If this is the wider end, you can tell either by that wider brush versus the thin point or this wide line versus the skinny line. And I used Melon Mambo and I used Lucky Limeade to color both the melon area and the rind. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. It requires that I get this moist, so I'm going to, off to the side, huff a little bit on it. And I will stamp it. I always hold it just a little bit because I am kind of re-moisturizing it with my, with my breath and I'm hoping that it transfers and it did. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Then here's the other discovery. The two and a half inch circle punch from Stampin' Up! goes in and crops it like it was custom made for it. Let me just get it in the right spot. Cool. And I'm going to use my um, table cup top cutter, but you could use any cutter, to basically line it up and just lop off the other half so that we have a perfect little watermelon slice. It's just really cool and graphic. I just love it. And then my other little discovery as I was playing around is using the Blossom Bouquet Triple Layer Punch. I have it set to the far right, so the most detailed version. And I'm just using it with some early espresso paper. For once, I'm discarding the flower and I'm keeping little seeds. And those are going to, I'm going to adhere them with a little bit of multi-purpose glue to the stamp, as you can see here. Now it doesn't quite cover 100% of the white area on the seeds, but in my opinion that little bit of white peeking through looks more authentic. I think it looks really cute, but if it bothered you, you could use a little Melon Mambo ink and a blender pen and fill it in. But personally, I tried it both ways, and I like with a little bit of white peeking through. So, I hope you enjoyed this One Minute to Wow video tutorial. Bye-bye.